Understanding. I see what you mean. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase that you might hear in everyday conversations. I see what you mean. Understanding this phrase is crucial for effective communication, especially for those learning English as a second language. So, let's explore its meaning, usage, and some examples to help you master it. I see what you mean is a phrase used to express that you understand someone's point of view, idea, or argument. It doesn't necessarily mean you agree with them, but that you comprehend their perspective. It's a way to acknowledge someone's explanation or reasoning. This phrase can be used in various contexts, ranging from casual conversations to formal discussions. It's particularly useful when you want to show empathy or understanding. You're clarifying someone's statement or after they have explained something complex. Moving a conversation forward by acknowledging what has been said before introducing your own thoughts or questions. Let's look at a few examples to see how it's used in real life situations. Scenario 1. Your friend explains why they prefer digital books over physical ones. You might respond with, I see what you mean. It's easier to carry around a lot of books that way. Scenario 2. In a meeting, a colleague outlines a new approach to a project. You could say, I see what you mean. This approach could save us a lot of time. Scenario 3. During a debate, someone presents an argument you hadn't considered. Acknowledging their point, you might say, I see what you mean. That's an interesting perspective. Dot quote. Understanding and using the phrase, I see what you mean, can greatly improve your communication skills in English. It not only shows that you are listening and understanding but also builds rapport with the speaker by acknowledging their thoughts and feelings. We hope this video has helped you grasp the essence of this phrase and that you'll feel more confident using it in your conversations. Thank you for watching, and keep practicing your English. Remember, learning a language is a journey, and every phrase you master is a step closer to fluency. See you in the next video.